Hey guys, how's it going? Happy Saturday. <laughs> this hair is a sloppy mess today. I went to bed last night with, um, you know, kind of my hair up, off my face because I was doing a, a, a skin mask and uh, it was still wet. So, yeah, it's like my hair is straight and back here it's kind of got a lot of different wavy, weird things going on. Wouldn't be a Kelly Alexa blog without a lot of issues, would it? Anyway, sometimes I'm telling you I feel like Dolly Parton, and I'm just not that big. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Cheers to you. Coffee? Uh, have kind of a lot to update you on. Um, I think I shot my last vlog on Wednesday. Today is Saturday. And I've been sick for a couple of days, but not sick in the, because I bet some of you are like, wait a second she just say she takes vitamins all the time and she's never sick? I don't think I'm sick that way. I honestly, like, <laughs> sorry for you boys that have to hear this. Um, I, I think I really need to just, much to what I've said before in the past, I think I'm going to need to go back on the pill because this hormonal fluctuation in my body is really insane. And I was in bed with a migraine. What day was it? Was it Thursday? Um... I think it was Thursday. Um, I think I did my workout plan. Yeah, I did back and biceps Monday, cardio Tuesday. Wednesday was my catastrophic leg day where I just got frustrated. I don't even know if I vlogged about that or not. And then Thursday was supposed to be cardio. And literally I had a migraine so bad that I could just barely see. And I had to get two documents out that day for sure that I promised. And I don't have anyone to delegate it to, so it had to go out. I'm at the computer like this, like, oh. sent out my stuff, came out here, and I wrote to Dr. Mike and Todd, and I'm like, I'm just letting you know, I'm very upset about this, but I am immobile. I need to lay on the couch. I, I just can't move the whole like left side of my head. It just feels like it has a vice on it. So I took it easy. I remember even going to bed that night, Thursday night, I could pass. <laughs> I went to lay down on my bed and I'm like I have my big laptop there because my laptop's big with like a big screen because I don't like traveling with small laptops and I'm watching like old Grey's Anatomy and I'm just sitting there whining like a baby going I didn't get my workout in it's my first week and I've already sucked I'm pissed and I'm angry I was like a little kid I'm surprised I wasn't sucking my thumb um, and then I woke up the next day Friday which was yesterday and um, I think I was texting Mike and I told him, well, I talked to Mike yesterday, um, but I thought I felt better. Came in here, made my coffee, got all my stuff laid out, made my eggs, and then I'm taking my vitamins right here. This is the crime scene right here. I'm taking my vitamins and I'm literally almost throwing up in the sink. So it's like, I don't, I, I think you guys can tell, I don't have a fever, I don't have a headache right now. Um, I don't have any like congestion or anything that's like a cold. It's all, this has felt like a really extended long two or three days of, Aunt Flo's about to come, but she's not here yet. And again, guys that are watching this, I'm sorry you have to watch this, but I, I share this stuff for women because, um, God, I wish I knew this was coming because I would have looked into a lot of preventative whatever if I knew that this kind of madness was coming and it is early you know most women from what I've read and from what my doctors have told me this you don't start um, perimenopause until like your 50s so it started for me at 40 um, but it's also very common if you've never had kids so for women that have never had kids this can be common welcome to the good times um, we should have sold our ovaries and our uterus when we were 20 I would have done it totally um, Anyway, um, that's just kind of what I feel like. When I was in Boston, remember when I was in Boston, you guys? Aunt Flo was with me that whole week. I came back for five days, she was gone, and then she came back for a whole other week. And now it's been almost four weeks she hasn't been here. And yet, there's just a knocking at the door all the time, like, hey, I'm almost here. And that's how crappy I felt. So it's really annoying, um, and I just have decided to 
it's not a total win. Going on the pill is not ideal, but it does balance your hormones and you have some degree of, you know, less swinging of extremes. And I just can't deal with it. So I'm going to see the doctor hopefully after Christmas. Okay, great. That said, as you can see, it's Saturday. I'm in my workout gear. This is so good. I just love my coffee. And I'm about to go meet my friend Jeff, who I haven't seen in forever. I should make sure, because I probably should get my workout on if I'm going to shower and meet him. Uh, no, I'm not 10 minutes away. Um, anyway, okay, so I think I told you about how the workouts have gone this week. Um, my, uh, I did, I did go, we had, we also, okay, in the midst of that, so Thursday was the day that I had the, <laughs> this is kind of funny, Thursday's the day that I had the really intense migraine, right? And I, I had eaten my breakfast, had almost thrown up, and so really, I hadn't eaten the rest of the day, and I was laying on my couch because I didn't want to eat, and I felt nauseated. And then right about 4.30, I was like, hungry. Wait a second, I'm trying to remember. The night before, I had put in my order because um, I knew that I was gonna go grocery shopping this weekend, but I also knew that the only thing in that refrigerator, the only thing, was like a bag or a box of ground turkey. <laughs> there were like three things in that refrigerator other than condiments and some chia, drink chia. So I had turkey, I'm like, I need to order some groceries. So I put my order in for Peapod, which is a delivery service, Wednesday, and it was coming between three and seven on Thursday. So Thursday, sick all day, laying on the couch, you know, not wanting to eat. Finally about four o'clock, I'm hungry like the wolf. And that's the other thing that comes with the impending visits from Aunt Flo is, I told Mike, I said, you have to understand, there is a being inside of me that is like the Hulk with hunger. You, you have to feed her. <laughs> so, you just deal with it. So I'm so hungry and I'm like, okay, the groceries aren't here yet. I'm not gonna make just plain ground turkey. Freaking A! And I said, I'm gonna go out to Chipotle and I'm gonna get in my car and I look outside and that's when we got our winter storm. We were supposed to get a really bad winter storm. It's more like ice and sleet than anything else. And I look outside, I'm like, well, this is not what I said. I said something worse. But I'm like, mother of God, I just want to get in my car and go to Chipotle. Damn it! Of course I couldn't. But then I opened my door, my front door right here, and my Peapod delivery was there. So, you know what I did? I started roasting vegetables. I made roasted broccoli, roasted cauliflower. It's actually in my fridge right now. Um, and I made a turkey meatloaf. And so I actually have some food other than one thing in my refrigerator. It's a start. And then today, my timer's on. I'm actually making some food to take over to my parents' house. Uh, my dad really likes my turkey meatloaf. So um, I'm cooking them two turkey meatloafs and I'm taking them uh, lunch today. So that's in the oven right now. When I finish here, I'm gonna go do legs, and then I'm gonna go meet my friend Jeff, go see my parents, yada yada, and then I'm doing some Christmas shopping. I tried to do Christmas shopping last night, and because of the storm, the little strip mall area that I went to, the power was out everywhere. So I've kind of been like getting kicked in the nads all week, and I don't even have nads, but I'm like, is there anything else that could possibly happen right now? Finally want to go outside and there's a storm. Finally want to go Christmas shopping and the power's out. What's a girl supposed to do? Come on! Just a little bitter. Now, all that said, I, had, I, I did a check-in with Dr. Mike um, to discuss you know, my first week. And I will tell you, I knew that I was so impressed with him before uh, mapping up my diet plan and I told you guys he doesn't just map out like hey you know here have some protein this day protein and vegetable it's like he's also making sure that we talk and he answers every question you know like I asked him about turkey meatloaf is it okay that I use that as a protein source it's got ketchup in it you know do I have to be that particular and of course he said fine um, but he's also working with me on like not just what do I follow, but changing my 
my mindset and my my attitude permanently. You know, we're really using the like when we talk on Twitter, you'll notice, especially in 2013, we're using the hashtag permanent change because that's what we're focusing on. It's not like this is some, yes, we're dieting for a period, but this is really about me changing habits that I've gotten into place without even realizing it for, it's a cold day to be going for a walk, brother. Anyway, all these habits that I've, I've allowed to get ingrained in my, my life for two years it's going to take a while and I need to turn those around. I don't want to just follow someone's program for two months, reach my results, and then stop and fall back into these old habits. So I've got to, you know, really, really, really focus, changing my attitude, understanding why I did things the way I did before, and, and putting all the things in place so that, you know, if Mike decided to go to Africa for two years, I could handle this on my own. It's going to take a while and it's great that I have Mike and Todd to answer to specifically every single day um, because it's really forcing me where I know if I, in the past when I've tried to do this, if I got to the place where I am right now this week where I had a sick day and couldn't do it, I know exactly what I would do. I would get so upset, I would get so frustrated, I'd get so down on myself, I'd look at myself like I was a failure and then I would say forget it, forget it. And I, I would go out and I would order pizza that night and then I would start hardcore dieting right? say, oh, I'm going to fast and I'm going to fast all weekend and then I'm going to start hardcore on Monday. And that just happened again and again and again. And right now, it's not in my nature, but I have to just like get over the fact that I was sick in bed on Thursday. It happened for a reason. Maybe it's happening so that I can, you know, see whatever lesson I'm supposed to learn. I'm le learning like a lot of lessons every day. But all that said, I, you know, you've got to figure out what your tendencies have been in the past. It's not pretty sometimes. Um, it doesn't make me excited to share some of this stuff with you. Like, I'm not proud of it. But I will tell you, I'm happy to share it. It's kind of like when I first was diagnosed, when I first finally got to a doctor and they diagnosed me with perimenopause and I was like jumping up and down with joy. And she's like on the phone going, most women are happy about this when they hear this. And I'm like, at least I know what it is. At least I know why all of this stuff is going on with my body. I know why I'm hot all the time. I know this. I know, you know, there's, there's something I can do about it now. Um, it, at least it's not this obscure, like, I think something's changed. That's what's, that's what's good about all of this. It's frustrating for me to realize what I've repeatedly done for the past two years with work. It's frustrating for me to realize how much time I've wasted. It's frustrating for me to realize, um, it's also frustrating for me to realize how it's still, even though I'm totally focused and I've got my diet plan from, from Dr. Mike and I've got my, um, my workout program and, and two great guys that are following up with me every day, it still is damn frustrating for me to go, Jeez, it's still, like, it's still, you guys, I'm just telling you, I'm telling you this to help you. It still is my tendency today on Saturday because I'm such a perfectionist. I think it has to be all or nothing. So the fact that I got sick on Thursday and was sick yesterday, okay, I assume this week is a wash. So I'm getting up Saturday going, well, I might as well just not work out today. I'm just going to go meet Jeff. I'm going to go do this. The more that we do that, you just have another week you set yourself back, and another week, and another week, and all those weeks adds up. Excuse me, did I say that right? All those weeks add up. And that's how you get way far behind. And I, I wish I could flip the switch and that I would do everything right. I wish that my first official week was perfect, but I have to get over that. And I have to, and, I, and I'm sharing it with you guys. I'm not gonna come on here and lie and go, oh yeah, everything is perfect. No, I'm telling you exactly like, what's going on with me because I have a feeling, and I said this to Mike, I'm gonna get a little better and a little better and a little better and a little better and it'll probably be in phases. I wish that it was like, here's the new program and all of the things of the past are things of the past. Permanent change can take a little bit longer, but as long as we keep moving in the right direction, wow, I sound so metaphorical right now. As long as we keep moving in the right direction, we're moving in the right direction, right? So that said, this is probably Jeff. No, actually, it's Mike 
going, are you training today? See, I'm surrounding myself with people that are reminding me. I'm just going to tell him. Um, yes, sir. Legs. See, I've got Michael following up with me. I've got Carla. I've got Todd Baumgartner, who's designed my training. Um, I've got Dr. Mike Roussel, who is designing my diet and my my brain, let's be honest. He also told me a book I should get, um, more about uh, you know mental attitude and changing that, but I've got to look that up and I'll put it on my blog. So anyway, I'm off. I've got to make sure that I get this, get it done today, um, but more stuff to follow and I was down, but I'm not out. So that's all there is to it. The only way to fail is to quit. And that's as many inspiring little mantras that I'm giving you in one thing. Oh, look at my camera. Look how bad I am. I'm showing you all the dirty stuff on my camera. Oh, but I will say, can you see this? Let's see. See that right there? I'm so excited. Micah told me one of the things I could do for, um, I can have fruit once a day um, with my snack, but he wants, you know, he said you can have small oranges, plums, berries, um, small apple, whatever. And I'd, I'd gotten, is that the right tense? I purchased some small oranges at Walmart, and they were good, but they were, you know, oranges. They're about, I would say, that big. Then, he, you know, he's like, buy clementines. The clementines, if you guys haven't had them, they're so tasty. And they're like this big, so they're even smaller. Um, but it's like automatic God's portion size. Now I have to go in 16 minutes. You guys, have a good rest of the day. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Stop!